When we're adding vectors, we are after the resultant. And the resultant is the single vector that has the same effect as several vectors added together. Let's say that we have a wolf here and a potential meal in the upper right. If this wolf creeps in this direction and then changes direction to get to his potential meal, in effect, the wolf will have started down here at the bottom of the screen and ended right there. This black dashed line represents the resultant, the single vector that has the same effect as several vectors added together. It doesn't have to be just two vectors, as I've shown here. It could be three or four. Any number of vectors, the resultant depends on where you start and where you stop with regard to displacement. And when we're adding other vectors, it's the one vector that would have the same effect as several others added together. We're going to learn first the graphical method of vector addition. The first thing you want to do is choose a scale with which to add your vectors. Then you'll use a ruler and a protractor to draw the first vector to scale at the proper angle. You'll draw subsequent vectors tip to tail. In other words, wherever the first vector ended, that's where the second vector will begin. And finally, we draw the resultant by connecting the tail of the first vector to the tip of the last. In other words, we're going to go back to where we started and draw a vector to where we ended, and that will be our resultant vector. Let's show you an example. Let's say we have two displacement vectors, 420 meters horizontally, and then walkers, uh, this potential family, say, gets to a hill and that hill is inclined at 30 degrees above the horizontal and these people walk another 280 meters up the hill. What is their resultant displacement? Well, if we're going to draw this out graphically, we need to have a scale so that it fits on our paper. And so we're going to choose a scale of 1 centimeter is equal to 100 meters. So we're, now we're going to draw the first vector 420 meters horizontally, that would be 4.2 centimeters horizontally, according to our scale. And this is not a line, it's a, it's a vector, so we need to give it a direction by putting an arrow tip on the one end. Then we draw subsequent vectors tip to tail. In other words, wherever we ended the first vector, that's where we need to start the second vector. So this dashed line represents horizontal, and this line represents 30 degrees above horizontal and using our scale that vector will have a length of 2.8 centimeters because the distance in the problem is 280 meters. The resultant then is drawn by going back to where we started and ending where we ended. We will then use our ruler and our scale to find the length of that resultant displacement vector. Let's say we measure it to be 6.8 centimeters, which means the length of our resultant, according to our scale, will be 680 meters. And then, because a displacement is a vector and needs a direction, we also now have to give a direction. And the direction we're going to give must be measured back here where we started our drawing. So I'm going to measure this little angle right in here, which I'm going to call theta, and I'm going to find that to be about 12 degrees. So I'm going to report my answer as 680 meters at 12 degrees above horizontal. Let's summarize graphical addition of vectors 1. Adding vectors graphically to find the resultant is very algorithmic. Follow the steps and you're good to go. First, choose a convenient scale. Then, with ruler and protractor, draw a vector, it doesn't matter which one, to scale and at the proper angle. Start subsequent vectors where the one before ends. Draw the resultant by starting where you started and ending where you ended. And finally, measure the resultant, convert back with your scale, and find an angle for the resultant somewhere back where the whole thing started. 